It's the NFL on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the New York Giants and the Dallas Cowboys. All that and more coming up next. We've been here so many times, and you still stand in awe at the size of this place. We're at AT&T Stadium. Welcome to Arlington, Texas. Welcome, everybody, to the booth. I'm Kate Scott, joined by Brock Heward for this game. And, Brock, as a former quarterback, I know your focus is on the offensive side of the ball ahead of this kickoff. Yeah, these two offenses are so fun to watch because the best offenses in this league, Kate, they're about trust. And it just pops out. When you study them during the week on the game film, you just see it. They trust one another. That's head coach. That's coordinator. That's play caller. That's to the quarterback. And then certainly the 11 on the field. Both these groups are getting it done. Agent back in 2017 and still here it's Cooper Rush don't think for a second Kate he hasn't heard the noise read the comments from the keyboard warriors who say they just want somebody else leading this team but let me let you in on a little secret those criticisms they can fuel quarterbacks make that chip on the shoulder even bigger to prove people wrong and to show I really do belong in this league so they're all fenced out now to get this game started it's first and ten throwing to start this game this is complete, Jalen Tolbert. And it's a nice little chunk here, six yards. Avio Karakin making that stop. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Rush now to throw. Couldn't connect across the middle. It's an incomplete pass. First time this game, they've looked to him. And now they need to get four on third down. Here's Rush. Dump off caught by his back. And he goes out, just needs one more step there to reach midfield. Five yards on that play and enough for a new set of downs. You could see that screen develop as the lineman pull right out in front. Sets up a nice game. Love to see a running back utilize the big man in front of him. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Before the snap, some early movement. Let's see which side gets tagged with the penalty. He thought he had the timing down and could make the play, but just a hair too early. So they'll only need five now after that neutral zone infraction penalty. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Looking left, throwing deep. And that's incomplete. A little lucky there, too. Nearly picked off on first down. That was it. That was their chance to escape this series. They were looking for a way out without giving up any points, and that was their ticket off the field. Unfortunately, he just couldn't quite hang on. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. From the 46. This one is hit by a defender and winds up incomplete. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. No place to go, so he just threw it away. Six 
so from a mile away, they'll send out the field goal unit to take a shot at this one. This from the right hash in a considerable distance. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And the opening drive of the game ends in three points. When you talk to kickers about kicking field goals of this length, they will tell you, Kate, you've got to keep it a little lower and you've got to drive it. But you still got to be accurate. Basically, all the pieces got to come together like they just did to hit from that distance. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. So the Giants out and getting set for their first drive. They are brought out by the undrafted free agent from Illinois back in 2023, the pride of New Jersey, Tommy DeVito. And Pete, I know you get tired of hearing me say there's no substitute for experience, but it is totally true taking the reins of an NFL team is a young quarterback. You want the game to slow down, and the only way it slows down is to get more and more of these opportunities to go lead your team, game in and game out. Shotgun snap, a gift to Tracy. He's descended upon quickly and dropped after a second like yard game. Tackle made by Trayvon Diggs. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. Back to throw. Top by Theo Johnson. And he's going to go out of bounds. Looks a little short of the 35. It's a pickup of nine yards. And it's good enough for a New York first down. Kid, I promise you, if you and I got to travel the country and watch young quarterbacks, even really good high school quarterbacks, out routes are the hardest to complete. Slants, goes, fades, all that stuff comes somewhat naturally. But really trusting yourself to throw that out route, that comes with time and experience. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. It's a 26-yard pickup there. And the Giants will have a first down. And he's laid it down to approach here from the 40. Back to pass on first and 10. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. That pass, it did put him in a position where he had to shake a defender. That's all you want. Give me a one-on-one. -on -one. And he is capable of doing it, but not against that dude. Uh -uh. That defender could not be shook, and he knocked him back across the line. All right, here we go. Second down. They are throwing it again. Has him on the quick hitter. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. I got to be honest with you, Kate. That's an occasion where a drop would have been a whole lot better than a completion. Couldn't find the way back to the line, and it's a rare pass that actually loses yardage. All right, Cowboys showing nickel set third down. They're throwing it. He's on the run. Oh, he was on the move, but so is the defense, and they take him down. This guy, Kate, he can create. He really is good out there. He's skilled when it comes to getting outside the pocket, which makes it all the more impressive. They contained him so well when he was clearly, clearly looking to generate something with his legs. The Giants ready into punt, and they're going to send out the lefty, Jamie Gillen, for the kick. So this one will go out of bounds, and they'll start the drive inside their own 30. Back out come the Cowboys for their second drive. And they'll have a little momentum as they take the field here after their kicker drilled a deep one to end their last drive with points. Off 
offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. It's an option right that begins this drive. And two yards is all he's going to get before he's caught. Tyler Newbin with the tackle. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. That's just a nice little tester for the defense to gauge how well it can account for the quarterback when he decides to run it. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 28. Throws off the rip, but it's incomplete. Yeah, that ball looked good out of his hands. It just couldn't get through the defense cleanly. Somebody tips it away and saves a potential completion. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. To the air with Rush. Ferguson there to bring it in. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Cowboys putting it away here on fourth, and it's the longtime vet Brian Anger on now. And a fair catch made here at the 17. No return on that punt, and it'll be Giants football. The Giants taking the field for their second possession. And they're certainly hoping for some better results here after that first drive ended in a punt. start out with a first and ten. Now begin with a quick completion to the right side. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. I wish everybody had the opportunity to feel how fast that decision is made. With that RPO, it is a split second. And when you make the incorrect read, well, the play's busted up before it ever has a chance to start. This is Tracy. And they're on him after about a two-yard game. That was Michael Parsons making that play. He gets a couple, and it'll bring up third down. Pass play now. He has the first over the middle. He's going to be brought down up the 28-yard line. That's a pickup of nine. And it's good enough for a New York first down. Throwing from the gun. And the hits just keep coming for them on this play, it seems. Elsewhere on the field, they've got a player hurt and in need of some attention. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Trying again, following the set. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Throwing from the gun here. Get paid a lot of money. 
money, a lot of glamour in this league, but today, well, it's a tough day for this QB. He's taking a beating. And whether it means changing up some of the blocking schemes, maybe mixing in a little bit of run, or heck, this quarterback getting the ball out of his hand more quickly, he's got to start protecting himself. The Giants are set to punt. Cavante Turpin on the return for the Cowboys. Fair catch called for and made a little shy of midfield. We don't get a return out of that punt. And the Cowboys will take over with some excellent field position. New set of downs for him from the 46. Play action on first down. Finds him over the middle. And they get this down to the 28. Give him 18 yards on that play, Brock, and it gets him a first down. Day has got to do just that. You cannot be a one-dimensional back in the league anymore. You can't. You got to be able to handle your business, both toting the ball as a runner, and really importantly, as a checkdown outlet on short throws. Blown back in the backfield, and he gets the handoff. And they had that one contained right at the line. Cordell Flott there on the stop. No gain on that one, and now it's third and eight. to back carries here and we just saw this movie they stopped him again at the line don't laugh at me kate <laughs> i almost wish there was an actual white flag on either sideline we could see waving in this spot because that was an easy mop-up for the defense to force fourth and long so fourth down brings out brandon aubrey to try for the cowboys field goal made his first one this is a little over 40. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. It sails right through a beautifully placed football. I know. I know. Sometimes we take kickers for granted, but I'll tell you what. You can't hit that any better. Never even flirted with an upright. That was right down the middle. to kick this one away. Has this at the six. In pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The Giants offense all set to get started. And they're hoping they can keep the puncher off the field this time around, Brock, after he's been called upon each of their first two possessions. Set, first and ten. A handoff to Tracy. And he finds space for about a three-yard game. Brought down by Deron Bland. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven.
Dropping back to throw. That's going to be knocked away incomplete. His first target doesn't lead to his first catch. And that'll bring up second down. in this first quarter have led to so much disruption. Kate, what do offense look for, especially early? Get myself into rhythm. Get myself into a tempo. What do defenses want to do? Wreck all of that, and that's exactly what this defense is doing. And the Cowboys bringing on an extra DB here. Third down coming. Running back sends in motion. Here he is on third and long. Complete beyond the marker. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Well, most drives should end right there, but they beat the defense and converts on third and 17. If only every completion could get that kind of result, that's good enough to knock a defense flat on its back. So the big play has him well into enemy territory and field goal range. They're inside the 30. They go play action on first. Oh, he got hit as he was throwing, and unsurprisingly, he falls incomplete. Second down coming up. Hey, Kate, know that line, time is of the essence? <laughs> it certainly is in the pocket. Not enough time there to let that play develop down the field, and the two were not able to reel it in. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Throwing out to the left. Cut. He's out of bounds inside the red zone. Just short of the 15. Oh, man. These are the kind of plays you can't wait to get on film and watch the next day. Look at the fellow pass catchers. Look at the guys getting out in front, helping on that screen pass. Get your player in space. Your buddies do the rest around you. And a big play follows. Staying between the tackles with Tracy. And he manages to get back to the line, but no further, as we're at the end of one. One quarter down for these two NFC East teams. Our score, six to nothing. Back to AT&T Stadium in just a moment. Short kick here, fielded at the 17. The tackle's made, so this drive will begin at the 34 yard line. The Cowboys about set to take over. And they were able to contribute three points to the lead their last time out. Another chance to build on that advantage here. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Throwing now, off play action. Caught deep behind the line. Oh, and the ball is out. And it's a turnover. The defense has it. And New York is making a house call. Touchdown. The Giants capitalize on that turnover and take the lead. 
great time to bring some extra pressure off that snap. And that made all the difference in getting that fumble and the defensive score. I could hear it in your voice. I think you saw it coming. I saw it coming. I think uh -huh. even the crowd saw it coming. Yep. But that quarterback did not see that blitz coming. And boy, did it pay dividends. Graham Gano to check on the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Giants take a four point lead. Still reeling a little after fumbling that away, but they're gonna get it right back with this kickoff. Kick taken in here at the 17. And this return gets to the 30 before he stopped. Another drive coming up for this Dallas offensive unit. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Rush now. Short pass brought in. And he'll get it up near the 38 yard line before going down. When there's heat, that blitz coming off the snap, that QB's eyes, you could see it right away. He got to his check down in a hurry. But, Kate, here's the key quarterback and running back have to be on the same page. The two were right there, and then netted some positive yards. Running for the marker on second. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. But you know, Kate, these are not the plays that are like bold in the stat sheet when you look back on it. But these are the kind of gains by the running back that keep the offense on schedule and move the chains. They'll head up first and ten from the 42. Another carry for him. He drives it up past the 45. Give him five on that carry. Bring it up second and five. They give it to him again. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. They made it to single yard that time. They're going to have to solve third down and four. You know, the defense is in the league today. They have to be so reactive. They have to be so twitchy. But this was a good job by that front. Yeah, they reacted initially, but then they showed the burst, the quickness, the pursuit defensively to limit that counter gain to less than five. That one's incomplete. Had the connection, but some stone hands got in the way there. He'll go with another punch, which brings Brian Anger back to the field. And this will be his second effort of the contest. Went for 48 with his first kick, and this one looks even better. Now here comes the New York offense. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal, despite advancing the football pretty well. Get this drive started. First and ten. From the gun, it's Tracy. And he works his way for a gain of four. Second and six coming up here. From the 
24. Escapes the pocket. He can run it. And he evades any kind of trouble, but only a short gain to show for it after sliding down. All plays on the table here for third and three. Coming left is Tracy. That's a first and even more past the 40. Near the sideline at the 30, still going. And he finally ends up out of bounds after a huge game. They rip off a huge chunk of field as the downs reset. Anytime you go over half the field in one play, totally changes the complexion of the drive. They're now set up beautifully in enemy territory to end the series with some type of points. Sets him up nice and pretty at the 25 following that big play. First down, and they go right back to it. And he works this to the 15 before they make the stop. Options are open here. It's second and inches. Oh, saw some movement there. It's going to cost them five. There was a blitz coming, and that got somebody to panic and jump early. It cost him five yards. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. Off the play fake. He'll throw. The shot to the end zone is incomplete. That throw doesn't lead to six. And it'll be third and five coming up. They send the tight end in motion. Finds his target, Robinson. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Sometimes you really just get into a groove, and this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. Gano for the PAT. The point after splits the uprights. And the Giants drive their lead to 11. Send this away. Here's Cavante Turpin on the return. Coverage team tracks him down as the return reaches the 35. Offense headed back out there now for Dallas. They struggled to produce on that last series, but better results ahead as they take possession here. The Cowboys have it in great field position as they come up to the line, first and ten. Right up the gut. And he drives that front backward on a gate of four. Yeah. 
Second and six coming up here. From the 39. Completed over the middle. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. They get an even 10 on that play. And it'll be first down, Dallas. Give now to the running back. And he's still looking for the play that sparks the ground game as that one stopped for a loss. Any tackle for loss hurts, Kate, but they hurt that much more from a defensive back. Those guys typically are better in coverage, and you've got to find a way to make a miss in the backfield. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Rush looking to pass. Got Lamb, and it's complete. And they're going to hold him down just shy of the 40. It's a pickup of 11. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. Caught across the line early there. That's an easy call for our officials. So he jumped too early, and that's going to cost him five yards. Encroachment on that previous play, and that makes this a much shorter first and five. Rush now to throw. It's taken in by Mingo. And he's stopped at the 31 yard line. They'll say he got five there, but Brock, all they care about is the first down that comes with it. shotgun they'll give it to him inside and that tackle stops him after a solid game it's a four-yard pickup and that's going to bring up second and six making the tackle. They made it to single yard that time. They're going to have to solve third down and four. To the air with Rush. Ferguson's got it. Complete. And he's brought down. They're going to mark him at the 14. It's a gain of 12 there. And it'll be first down, Dallas. From the red zone now. Big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Even if this QB do, from the very get-go, somebody be waiting for him, there's no chance he was going to salvage that play. I'd be surprised if he even got a second to look upfield before he was greeted with the big old open arms for an easy sack. Offense to the line for second down. Another try following the sack. Has him on the quick hitter. And he's going to be stopped at the 17-yard line. Went to the two-minute warning from AT&T. And it's the Cowboys. Behind the sticks on third and 13. Here's Rush to throw. Hawkins isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. 
The Giants using their first time out. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. The fourth down brings out Brandon Aubrey to try for the Cowboys' field goal. From the right hash, it's a 47-yarder. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that brings the deficit back within a score, eight points. Give him the first half trifecta. He's three for three on field goals. And as much as they'd like six points to end drives, not three, they can at least be happy they're getting consistent looks inside field goal range. He's delivering. that lead cut down to eight after that score and the kick is away kickoff taken at the three and he's gonna make this to the 28 before going down the Giants and Darius Slayton with the football once again they seem likely to carry the lead into the locker room but some points here to end the half could make things even more comfortable ready to begin this drive first and ten they put a receiver in motion right now they'll throw out of the gun it was there but he couldn't hang on that's incomplete he can't hang on to the pass and we'll see what they do here on second down Jamie Gillen on again for the punt. Back deep, it's Cavante Turpin. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this fly. And hey, at least he held onto the football, but they will get nothing on that return. So no return on that punt. And the Cowboys will get set to go on offense. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Here's Rush. Big catch, Bates, and he got both feet in. The big play had some 17 yards. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine because there's nobody defending you nobody wants to hit you but that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch rush it's taken in by lamb and he's brought down after pushing to that 35 yard line
In a good spot here, second and inches. Throwing, rush. Fits it through the middle. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That one goes for 25 yards. And it'll be first down, Dallas. Yeah, these end cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate, but it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces, but it can pay big dividends. And this one doesn't go far. Now Dallas is going to call its second timeout. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Still sticking with the passing game. He's got it! And in for the Dallas touchdown! We've seen him do a lot more to reach the end zone on a catch, Brock. That one, that one was kind of fed right to him. Yeah, they say the running backs have a nose for the end zone. You know who else does? <laughs> Every skill guy out there yeah. because they want to put a touchdown on the board. Brandon Aubrey now on for the extra point. And he hits the extra points. Really surprised they wouldn't go for two in the tie, but at least he made it. So the lead falls to a single point. Things trimmed back down to a single point, Brock, as they send this off and away. So new kickoff rules. This is going to come out to the 30, not the 25 on the touchback. First and 10, but only time left for maybe a couple of plays here. Now there's the flag. Looks like the jump came from the left side of the line. One of the most common penalties in the sport. And the reaction, it's the same every time, Brock. Frustration from the coach as they get backed up five yards. They're set back five by that false start. Now 15 yards to the marker. Yep, as expected. They go to the ground and start this one off. And he's brought down for a loss. We're through two here with the Giants overcoming home field advantage. They've got the lead at the break. Now we'll send you east to our studios in Orlando. That's where Jonathan Coachman is waiting to bring you the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, what you got for us? All right, Kate, sit tight. We'll get back to you and Brock in just a moment. But for now, this is our halftime report. This one's been all you could hope for as an NFL fan. Just a one-point game here at halftime. This has been as much fun as you could hope for with both these teams in it to win it. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Here's a return from the seven. Coverage team gets him down to the 26-yard line. The Giants and Tyrone Tracy are running back on now.
drive will start out with a first and ten. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. Back to pass on first and ten. Neighbors with a catch. And that's good for a gain of five. Tackled there by Jordan Lewis. Send a man in motion. Here's second and five. He's got a man left. And he's marked down, looks like, at the 32-yard line. Pickup of 12 on that play. And the Giants will have a first down. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Second and three now. They run. Here's Tracy. And they'll stop him after a short pickup to the 24. Just two yards there on the carry. They're going to need another two now on third down. Tracy wants more. And again, they stop him out of the line. He couldn't get it. You know, I'm not sure what else could have been done there, Kate. Just the right call defensively to come up with a third and short stop. Looks like they will indeed try it. Fourth and two. They go right back to Tracy. And he can't find a lane before being wrapped up at the line. So the run doesn't get the yardage. It's a turnover on down. These fourth down runs, it's all about want to and will. You want to keep it conservative offensively, try to move it across, but that defense is having none of it. And now they get themselves off the field. This offense headed back to the field, led by their receiver. They really have the passing game clicking on that last touchdown drive, partner. We'll see if they stick with that or if they mix things up a bit on this series. They're out and set. First and ten. Rush now. Complete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. He's counting his lucky stars. That one isn't headed the other way right now. That is not the time to challenge double coverage. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Lone back in the backfield, and he gets the handoff. And he found some running room for a nice game. A solid eight-yard gain there, and now they're going to have third and two. Back now, 
pressure on its way. He's got it to him yet again, and that one is caught. He manages a gain of eight there. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. Rush looking to pass. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. He'll look to throw. Ferguson there to bring it in. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They get 22 on that one. And it'll be first down, Dallas. Rush now to throw. It's caught, Ferguson. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. Second and three now. From the 32. So it comes brought in. They stop him. He's marked down along that 18 yard line. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and 10. Pretty easy call to make. He lined up offsides, and now he gets a talking to from his coach. A bit jumpy across the way there, and that halves the distance ahead of him on first down. They'll run here, following the penalty. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. These defensive ends today are so good, Kate, with their hands, and it's often right off the jump. If you can win with your hands, if you can create space, you can get a tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Second down now, seven to go. He's got it on the bootleg. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find a throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. To the air with Rush. And the Giants are too much. They take him down. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. This defense has been trying like mad to do anything to disrupt the rhythm, get the QB off his spot. It's got to be a massive relief to see their efforts paid off on that play. So fourth down brings out Brandon Aubrey to try for the Cowboys field goal. It's about 43 yards for it. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And they've taken back the lead. Let's give him some credit. He's done his best to three them to death in this game, Kate. And he's continuing that effort here in the second half. This is fourth field goal of the game. Gives them a slim lead.
Aubrey now to kick this one away. Fielded at the seven. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Giants about to get to work on offense. They liked how that drive was going, but the ND and the turnover on downs, yeah, that's something they'll try to rewrite on this series. Drive starts out with a first and 10. He's dropping back to throw. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. Trey Fon takes his got it. And the Cowboys have it down near the opposing 40 after the return is stopped. You can see it right off the screen. They got a really good read on where that was designed to go. Having that extra defensive back, that nickel coverage, so critical on that interception. Give that defense coordinator some credit. Had the right plan, the right personnel. These guys on the field made the right play. The Cowboys offense headed out there. They'll have a shorter field ahead of them now, Brock. That pick sets them up just shy of the 40. First and 10 from the 41. Airing it out to start this drive. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. The intended target there was CeeDee Lamb. So it's second down coming up. Here's Rush to throw. Completed over the middle. He's got a gain of six there. Bobby Okereke making that stop. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. He goes back to him yet again. Complete. And he'll go down here at the 16. Big gainer here as he picks up 20. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. This entire play, Kate, depends on how well he can separate from his man. You get man-to-man -man coverage, it's really about two things. Separation and trust. Because QBs want to throw it before he breaks. That's the trust. And then they got to believe that that separation can create the big play down the field. Working inside the red zone. Into traffic, complete. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. Well, that right there, Kate, okay, that is the epitome of trust. And trust in your big physical tight end. Throwing his way into double coverage. You may question the decision when the ball leaves his hands, but it's tough to question when it produces results like that. The give here on second. And he'll push them down to the six-yard line. It's a gain of five, and he's just short. So that's third and less than a yard. Well, he made the edge, just not a lot of room to maneuver once he got out there. They limited the damage very nicely on that toss play. One yard, all that's needed. This is third and inches. Here's Rush. This one's caught. And he drives this forward to the six. It's a game of one big yard, Brock, because that sets him up with first and goal. Rush. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. Dowdle. And he gets in. Touchdown. The Cowboys parlay the interception into points.
For the point after, here's Aubrey. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Cowboys push the lead to two scores now. now to kick this one away. Here's a return from the seven. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. New York taking over once again. The offense heading out. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Drawn starts with an option, right side. And he found some running room for a nice game. Call it nine yards. Looks like a first for a moment. It's second and one. The difference right there, Kate, between that game and a big hit for a loss. Some really quick decision making. He made a quick read, saw the running back was going to get hit at the end of it, and he pulls it himself for a positive game. All movement on the line before the snap, though. This is going to be a false start. So tough to stay set when you've got defenders doing everything they can to make you jump, and well, they got one of them to move that time. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Running it after the penalty. And he's going to be blocked down at the 42. That one ends up a gain of six. And it's good enough for a New York first down. I think with that call, they were trying to set him up with a short third down run, but he said, uh-uh. Nope, not on my watch. I'll just go get it all right here. Now, playbook's wide open for first and ten. Going to the ground again on first. And he'll make his way through for a pick of a four. So we're through three here. It's Giants football. They're on a mission here. They trail entering the fourth. Second and six coming up here. From the 46. Flush down now to his left. He gets a little something out of it before sliding to a stop. That's just the case where you're trying to make something when there really is nothing there. There just wasn't an opening for him to work with, and he was lucky to get what he could. Here they come. This is 35. He'll throw it. That's caught for the first. And they make the tackle at the 38. Big gain, 14 on the play. And the Giants will have a first down. Set it down, score him at the 38. No go left side with Tracy. Along this sideline, inside the 25. And he gets this all the way inside the red zone, down at the 19. 
It's a gain of 19 on the play. And it's good enough for a New York first down. Shotgun snap and gift to Tracy. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. There is no thought needed from him. He has been doing this so long, dating back to college and high school. Those instincts, and they come at you with a capital I. Identify that run, fire downhill, and get home in the backfield before that play could get started. A handoff to Tracy. And he may have just reached the edge of the red zone before going down. It's only a gain of one. Back-to-back -back misfires on the ground, and they're facing third and long. This is Tracy, and he'll make his way down to the 16-yard line. 40 yards narrows the distance a bit, but still some yardage left here on fourth down. Graham Gano and the Giants field goal unit out. He connected once and a good chance here. This is inside of 35. Down the heart of the lane, and it's good! And it pulls him back within one score here in the fourth. So here's the kickoff, Brock. Just six points now separating our teams. Short kick here, fielded at the 15. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The Cowboys and Cooper Rush out for this next drive. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Throwing. Rush. Got Lamb, and it's complete. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stops. Second and six coming up here. Gun. They'll give it to him inside. And he's brought down after a tremendous effort just to get a couple of yards. It's a pickup of three. They're going to need three more now on third down. They give it to him again. And he'll pick up enough to move the chain. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And this is through the midfield stripe and onto the giant side of the field. Give him nine yards. He almost moved the chains there. It's going to be second and one. Short yardage situation, just make sure you get to the marker and reset those chains. New set of downs for him from the 46. An early 
jump of the flags come in. I think this is going to go against the defense. Broke the plane before the snap, and that's going to give the offense some free yardage. Now talk about a golden opportunity at an immediate first down following that encroachment flag. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Couldn't connect there. Incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. From the 41. Ferguson's got it. Complete. And he's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. They get six and a first down as well. They're set up at the 35 now. Play action on first down. Intended target there was CeeDee Lamb. So it'll be second down. That's somebody they're going to look for if he has any space deep. That space, though, Kate, just disappeared between when he let that pass go and when he actually made it down the field. Second and ten now. Has him on the quick hitter. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. Plays on the table here for third and three. Rush now. And the kick connect on the third down deep shot. Love the courage they had to try it. But it's incomplete, and now we've got fourth down. You know, it's fascinating how those routes you run so many times in practice become a whole lot more difficult in the actual game. That was an important third and short to convert. Very surprised to see that play fail. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that'll make it a two-score game. That's a handful of field goals for him now, Kate. In fact, five in this game. And they've needed every one of them to put together the lead they do have as we sit here at this point in the game. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Fielded at the 7. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Giants back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. Shooting right to the air now on first and ten. Completed to his running back. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. You know, these running backs today, they are so versatile. It doesn't matter if they're running it, or in this case, same principle applies on routes out of the backfield. You don't get somebody close to him, that throw is headed his way. First down now, ball at the 39 yard line. Well, it looks like the defense got a little too excited there. That's going to be a penalty. He thought he had the timing down and could make the play, but just a hair too early. Encroachment on that previous play, and that makes this a much shorter first and five. Now they'll throw out of the gun. He's got a man left, and he's tackled with the first down yardage.
Here's a throw. Finds him over the middle. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. Moving quickly, trying to get set again. Second and six now. And oh, he drops it. He had all the space in the world. Brock, he got behind the defense. And he just looked away before he brought it in. A big missed opportunity. Malik Neighbor is the one he was throwing for. And that brings up third down. Throwing from the gun. He finds Johnson. And they get this down roughly to the 34-yard line. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And the Giants will have a first down. Working quickly here. Still sticking with the passing game. And he's not quite that fast. Let him just a bit too much. That's incomplete. Looking for his wide receiver there. And now it's second down. They are throwing it again. Hits him on the in route. And he pushes this down to the 22-yard line. It's a gain of 12 there. And it's good enough for a New York first down. Offense up to the line fast. They'll throw it again. He's got it near the eight. 14 yards on a nice play there, and it gives him first and goal. from up here and it became clear pretty quickly that if they got things going that one could go the distance yeah the six points are earned on any screen pass touchdown i'd give half a point to the sell job of a quarterback half a point to the effort of the running back but five of those points to the big guys in front of mm. them they're the most important ones out there on that play and in the best of times they clear lane for a touchdown just like that one Cano's point after is good. And the Giants cut the lead down to just two. Two-point difference as they send the kick away. Turpin with a return. And they'll start this drive in good position, a little shy of the 40. The Cowboys are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. The Cowboys have it in great field position as they come up to the line, first and ten. They'll motion him out of the backfield. Throw complete to Lamb. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy in midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. We've reached the two-minute warning from Dallas. Cowboys lead by only two. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Right up the gut. And they get there to take him down right around the 41. 
So quickly the defense burns a timeout here. 157 remaining in the game. First and 10 from the 41. Back-to-back carries here. And they get him down after a quality pickup to about the 36. No surprises here. Defense quick to stop that clock. We've got 153 left in this game. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Back to the well again. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Elliott straight ahead. And an opening doesn't materialize. He's cut near the line of scrimmage. The Giants are going to call their final time out here. And they'll take a moment to ponder what the call is going to be on third down. to where one of your guys is sitting that pass can hum in there and there's nothing this defense can do victory formation here looks like they're going to take a knee on first down with the win all set cowboys in victory formation they take a knee there's still some time to bleed off the clock but the important factor is that the defense is helpless to stop it you could just run that clock down as far as you're able and take off every single second. A kneel down here, and they can start to celebrate this win. Your favorite formation, right, Brock? The victory formation here as he takes a knee. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. So the Cowboys take the win here in Arlington. And partner, I know you took down plenty of division rivals in your NFL days. Heck, your conference opponents back in Washington in your college days always makes the win a little bit sweeter when it comes against a rival, doesn't it? Yeah, there's just a little bit more emotion. There just is. Yeah. I mean, you try to keep every game level, and no opponent's bigger than the other, but familiarity does breed a little more content. <laughs> and we could feel it today, and that's why that W is a little bit sweeter.